think traditionally we see science as a bit of a dusty old boys club. Blokes in, in white coats in clinical spaces, and it's actually not like that at all, right? Science is colourful, it's vibrant, it's creative, it involves a lot of problem solving, it involves being innovative, it involves collaboration. My name is Misty Jenkins and I'm a medical researcher from Melbourne. It's a really exciting time to be a cancer immunologist. We're now seeing for the first time we're using the patient's own immune system to fight their own cancer. So that's really what we're trying to tackle, is understanding how we can create genetically modified receptors, killing receptors, to, to rearm your immune system against your particular cancer. So we're moving into this era of personalised medicine, which is really exciting. Science isn't done as an individual, it's very much a team sport and my success is my team's success and my mentor's success and my institution's success and my previous institution's success. Melbourne is the epicentre of cutting edge science in this country and we are competing on an international stage. Australia generally, despite being 0.3% of the world's population, contribute 3% of the world's peer reviewed articles. I was a pretty nerdy child, actually, and I grew up on the outskirts of Ballarat. I'd never met anyone who'd been to university. It seemed out of reach. It didn't seem like a pathway that was accessible to me. But as a, I think about an 11-year-old, I joined St John Ambulance because I wanted to learn first aid. And then I, I guess there I learned a bit of anatomy and a, a little bit about the human body, which piqued my interest. And then I guess as I went through high school, I started to think, wow, this is actually really cool. And I, I loved just learning about the body you know, and the amazing things that it could do. Once I completed my PhD here at the University of Melbourne, I went to Cambridge, which was an incredible experience. Uh, it really taught me a lot, not just scientifically and academically, but also just with my worldly view. I mean, I got the opportunity to be a fellow of Cambridge and dine with amazing, incredibly intelligent people from all disciplines and from all around the world. Literature has shown that if a man and a woman with the same CV apply for the same job, the man gets it over the woman just about every time. There still is, you know, a proportion of, of men that don't think women are as clever, unfortunately. For myself and lo loads of other women, I know it's, it was difficult returning to work after a period of maternity leave. Having a, a mother's room, not having to pump breast milk in the toilet, Having the ability to keep your work ticking over when you're, you're having a period of leave or if you're home with a sick child, you know, simple things as good as having good teleconferencing facilities or, you know, having avenues to keep in touch with the lab. I feel like a lot of people do think that I'm really confident and I'm, but I'm not. As a scientist, you put your ideas out there constantly for judgment and be constantly told that, oh, you haven't thought about this and you haven't thought about that. And that's good, it makes you better and makes you a better thinker, but you have to be pretty resilient to that. Starting to realise it's very much a female thing is this sort of constant self-doubt and, oh, am I good enough to go for it? And should I put myself forward for that? Oh, I'm probably not ready. I'm probably not there yet. I think we all have these doubts and I think that's also why good mentoring is so important. As part of my mentoring of Indigenous students, I talk about sheltering them a little bit from that bureaucracy, being careful not to be forced into leadership positions before you're ready, learning how to say no. And to have senior people that really understand you and get what you're doing, get your work, uh, support your career development strategies and can help influence you and shape you and um, you know on that pathway. Science is fun and we need more women there. Women offer a unique perspective and without diversity in our scientific workforce uh, we won't have innovation. 
You know, I think diversity drives innovation.